Hello everyone, this is Thomas Fan232 and today I'm going to do a DVD review on the DVD Thomas and Friends Little, Little Engine's Big Days Out. Thomas and Friends Little Engine's Big Days Out was released on the 26th of May 2006 and then it was re-released in, in, I don't remember what day it was or month it was, but all I know this is re-released in 2008. Uh -huh. It features six episodes from series and, and season nine and... And realistically, this this the, the re-release this looks in not too bad condition to be honest with you. So uh, this one I I found in the charity shop, and this one I've got CX. Look, as you can see, to entertain. And yeah, today I'm just gonna be reviewing Thomas and Friends and Sunshine's Big Days Out. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using one of these duties to um read the description of the episodes. We're using this one so Thomas and the birthday picnic the fat controller has organized a special birthday picnic for his mother's birthday sounds pretty nice Thomas thinks um he knows the spot a little Shen Valley when a terrible storm appears Thomas desperately tries to think of a location for the birthday picnic but now it's in the right place will Thomas find the perfect place and he does at Natford station why? Why on earth would you want to do a vid, a birthday party at a train station? That is just total crap because there be like people trying to get into the air where they need to be. Y yeah, I don't know what to say about this episode, but it's bad. Three out of ten. Next episode, flower power. It's Halloween. And I and Diesel and Thomas are working at the flour mill. Diesel scares Thomas, pointing out this, all the spooky things on the way to the mill. Thomas gets his own back cover himself with flour and pretending to be a ghost. And Diesel is terrified. Seriously, Diesel, you terrified Thomas, so he gets to terrify you. I feel like that's a pretty good episode, to be honest. That's one of the best season nine episodes ever. Nine out, nine out of ten. Peter Simon and Legend Land. Rossi tells the narrow gate engines all about the legend of Proteus and a old engine with a magic lamp. Whoever finds the lamp will have their wish come true. Peter Sam thinks this is nonsense. Later that night, some mysterious goings on start to make him think otherwise. Dot dot dot. I don't know what to say about this episode, but it, it's kind of interesting. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. No, 4. No, 5. 6. 6.3. Yeah, 6.3 will do good. Um, what else? Like that, so now what DVD I'm reviewing. Next up. Keeping up with James. Another glorious episode. It's winter and Edward and James have important work to do. The icy track is the track is icy and Edward warns James to go slow. But James doesn't is determined to finish his work whilst the other engines before it, while the other engines are doing the job. He does listen and a disaster strikes where they crash into block of snow and they get into trouble where James really wants to pull the presents train and And yeah, Edward gets it. Then James asks to be Edward's back engine and the fact that Troy decides it, I mean why the fuck would you do that when he's done something naughty? You could have got another engine to do that. It's still a great episode though. 8 out of 10. 2 and 4 toots. Another very interesting episode. Rusty loves the sound of his horn, but not everyone feels the same. When Rusty is asked to take a, a, a brass brand on a tour of the hills, he loses track of time and runs out of fuel. Everyone is worried about Rusty and the band until they hear a familiar sound echoing through the valley. Yeah. I really don't know what to say about this one other than it's not too interesting. Four out of ten for this one, I don't know. Just let's move on to the last episode. Thomas tries his best. It's carnival time. That's when I was younger. Thomas has a del has a to deliver a load of chickens. And is right that he'll miss the fun. Jason Gordon suggests ways to get his work done faster. 
But Thomas doesn't want to let the fucking troll down. We deliver his low, low down gets the carnival. I don't know. I haven't watched this DVD in a while, and it's yeah. Well, I feel like it's a very interesting episode, and um, I'll give it a five out of ten. So, all in all, do I recommend Thomas and Friends Little Engines Big Days Out? For me personally, um, I do. Season 9 is uh, not too bad. It has a couple of great episodes and a couple of bad episodes. And this one um has... Um, um, yeah. It does have a couple of um, bad episodes. So, I don't think I'll recommend this. I'm going to have to skip the... Skip the lenses, big days out. <laughs> yeah, skip it, skip it. It's not a very good episode. Hope you enjoyed this first DVD review. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next DVD review.